Hi everybody, I am excited to give you a tour of our new website. The website is just a, has a fresher look and it shows a little bit more of who we are as a church. Our hope is that people will see this website, they will get to know who we are and be encouraged to come visit us on a Sunday morning. And our ultimate goal is to point them to Jesus. Hopefully we can help them enter into a relationship with Christ or encourage them in their walk with Christ. This website is just a tool to help us do that. So we're going to take a look here. When somebody is looking for a church, the three main questions that they are looking to answer is when is the service? What can I expect as somebody who is new? And what is the mission of the church? Uh, the service is also, this section is also going to give us a link to the digital bulletin each week. Somebody who is coming to visit can click here. They're going to find out um, what to expect on a Sunday morning. They're also going to be able to fill out a form saying that they're hoping to visit on Sunday so we can keep an eye out for them. And then this section, um, the, the brief a uh, highlight of our mission statement, which is the connection to God, body, and the world, is right here. But when they click here, they're going to be able to go to a page that explains that more in detail. As we continue to scroll down, we see a slideshow of our up-and-coming events at Grace over the next month or so. And at the very bottom, we have our site navigation. This is link These are links to all of the pages on our website. So if you're looking for something specific, you can just scooch down here really quick and click on one of those. Let's go to our about section. The about section is very self-explanatory. Our contact page just has um, information on our, our office hours and our email and our website or our um, email <laughs> office hours, emails, phone number. That's what I was trying to say. Our service times. And there's also a, a form for them to fill out if they would like to be contacted by a staff member. You guys, I'm not clicking on a lot of these because I want to go nice and fast and respect your time. But I also know that you can go to the website and you can click on these and explore them more on your own time. The staff page has a bio on Pastor Bob and Pastor Matt. It has our admin listed and our elders and our deacons listed. The mission statement is the exact same page that I just talked about from the home page. That is the page that goes in and fleshes out the, our connection to God, the body, and the world a lot more in detail. I want to show you the events page because this is going to be a great resource for us as a church. You can see what's happening. Um, in this up and coming week, but we also have an interactive monthly calendar so you can see what's going on for the whole month. And if you hover over one of these items, you can just come over here and click on that heading and it is going to give you more detail about that specific event. These next three pages that I want to highlight in our navigation are based on that up in and out or the connection to God, connection to the body and connection to the world. I've just used terminology that people will understand if they don't know our mission statement well. So faith is our connection to God. The salvation page just walks them through the bridge illustration. And at the bottom of this page, there's a form that they can, or a link to a form that they can fill out if they have more questions about salvation. The sermons page is next. This is going to highlight our most current sermon and then also have the most the last three months worth of sermons right here on this page with interactive, um, interactive links to scripture and to the sermon notes for each of those sermons. And if you would like to see an older sermon, you just have to click on one of these buttons and it is going to bring you to the remaining sermons for that year. The other thing I wanted to show you on the faith page is our prayer wall. This is pretty much the same, whereas our prayer requests are all password protected to keep them private. We'll be emailing out um, a password to everybody, but if you are hoping for the password or if you lost the password, just email the church and they can get that sent out to you. What is different is that anyone can submit a prayer request, um, even if you don't have the password to view the prayer requests. This is going to be a great place for our church body to submit our own prayer requests, but anybody, um, even if they don't attend Grace, can submit their prayer request and they can be they can um, ask to be contacted contacted about that prayer request. The community section is where I really need your guys' help. First of all, if you are a leader of one of these ministries, I would love to connect with you so that we can update your page and get it to be um, more representative of what the ministry looks like now because all of the information in here is pretty outdated. 
But I would love for you guys, and this is for everybody, when you're at church, when you're doing things with other people, please take lots and lots of pictures and send that to the church and do that forevermore. <laughs> um, I would love to replace the stock photos with pictures of our own uh, people at church, just like children's ministry is. And I would also love to have a slideshow at the bottom of each ministry showing pictures um, of our church interacting in that ministry. The next page is just outreach page. This page is still under construction. I have to build these still, but this is where we'll be able to connect with our missionaries. This is going to be a resource page for you with outreach tools. Then our give section is a quick link to our uh, Faith Street section so that you can, our Faith Street link so that you can give online if that's something that you would like to do. And then the website is really optimized well for mobile devices. So uh, anytime you click on our logo, that's going to bring you to the home page and you guys can see how that lays out um, in a mobile device and how nice and easy it is to navigate through the entire website. I want to give a quick shout out to Ariel Olson. Ariel, thank you so much for all your work in helping this website become a reality. And everybody, I would love you. I would love uh, for you to go and explore the new website. Have fun.